I just like this. Hey, it was good as your boy, our sneakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because today we are going to be rating the one and only Drake's outfits. So the way I decided to structure this video, I know last time I said that I was going to get the pictures off of Instagram. Unfortunately, I could not find any pictures on his Instagram. Instead, I had to go to Google because I just couldn't find pictures of his full outfit. I can only like, find the tops and that's it. Like, I'm not just going to rate the tops. I got to rate the whole outfit. Like, that's the whole point of the video. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first picture we have right here looks like the younger Drake, but you can tell that it's recent because he is wearing off-white Prestos, and if you guys know, these released no longer than six months ago, if that. Starting off at the top, he does have a red shirt, which says something about shooters. It is a basketball shirt. No clue what brand that is. I'm not to give him like no points for that one because it's honestly not that nice. It's like, it's whatever. The backpack, I don't know what brand it is, so we're not even going to judge by that. Going on to the pants, we do see he has Stone Island, which is a brand that he wears a lot. You can see this a lot, especially on his Instagram. He does post himself always wearing Stone Island. And if we go to the shoes, I already spoke about this. He is wearing the off-white Prestos. And these, personally, I'm not a huge fan of, but they grew on me. Honestly, I'd like them more than the regular Prestos just because they are off-white. So he does get some points for that one and also for the pants, but the shirt is a no-go. So this outfit for Drake, knowing he could be way more stylish, I have to give this one a 6 out of 10 because the outfit is very trash. Honestly, it's too simple. And as far as Drake goes, you know, he should be... Now, he, he shouldn't be, but he usually dresses up in a way more higher end and looks way more stylish. Going on to the next picture, you can see he is wearing a revenge t-shirt which if i'm not mistaken is part of a toy that he had and as far as the jeans go nobody knows i don't know i can't even tell if you guys can tell what jeans those are let me know in the comments down below if we go down to the shoes he is wearing some tims which he does actually rock a lot while well, i was looking through a lot of pictures i saw him wearing them a bunch if we go to the wrist i'm not exactly sure what watch that is but it does look pretty expensive on the other wrist he has nothing on. On his neck though, he is wearing the OVO owl filled with diamonds on what looks like a Franco chain. So overall, I think I'd give this outfit maybe a seven out of 10, maybe an eight at most. The jeans looking a little baggy there, so I have to take some points out there. Honestly, he could have made them maybe a little, I guess you can't really wear slim jeans with Tim's, but I'm personally not a huge fan of Tim's, so I can't give him points for the Tim's either. I'll go ahead and give him an eight out of 10 because this is the only way you can really style those jeans with those boots. On to the next picture, it looks like we have Drake with his security guards and his homies. And on top, he is wearing a Stone Island shirt. Like I said before, he is always wearing Stone Island. It's very common that you see him wearing that. As far as the bottoms go, he is wearing what seems to be OVO clothing because it does have the number six on it. And he does seem to put this on OVO. Actually, I don't know if he puts the six on it. I don't know if this is a different clothing line, but I know he has something to do with the clothing line. I'm going to go ahead and say it's OVO. I may be wrong on this one. But those shorts are actually pretty nice. I love cotton shorts and you guys know this. They're very stylish and you can pretty much wear them with a lot of things. And as far as the shoes go, he is wearing some Nikes. I think those are Air Maxes. I'm not huge on Air Maxes. I'm not even huge on Nike. So I really don't know my Nike shoes like that anymore. But I'm assuming those are some kind of Air Max. And you can see him wearing some Nike socks with it. So he is matching the Nike with Nike. You guys know the rule. Don't wear Nike socks with Adidas shoes or Adidas socks with Nike shoes. It just doesn't match when you have like Adidas socks and Nike shoes. It just looks kind of weird. You'll always catch me wearing the same brand for my socks and shoes. For this one, I have to give him an eight out of 10 because it is very casual. Nothing crazy stylish, it's just pretty simple. Going on to the next picture, we do have Drake at a basketball game. And I know in the background, you guys can see Spike Lee, if you guys know who that is. Big props to you, because I know a lot of you younger people probably do not know who that is. But there's nothing wrong with that, like it's cool. If you're a true sneakerhead, you definitely know who Spike Lee is. But anyways, going on to Drake's outfit, starting off at the sneakers, we do have him wearing some Jordan 8s. As far as the colorway goes, I am not exactly too sure. I'm not huge on Jordans, like I said. I'm not huge on Nike, like I said, and I mean, Jordan's part of Nike. And Jordans have just been going down. I really don't care about them anymore. I'm pretty sure these have never been released and if they have been i have never seen them on anybody's feet or anywhere i personally think these are pe's going on to the jeans he does have light watch jeans as far as the brand goes like i said i never know like there's no way you can really tell jeans unless they're like ball mains or fear of gods because they have a certain style to them going on to what he's wearing on top under the varsity jacket he does have a ovo hoodie and on top of that hoodie he has an ovo varsity jacket in pink and white and i think he styled it pretty good the only part i think he messed up on this outfit was mixing the blue in there because he does have like pink white and then he has a light blue for the jeans but then he has some dark blue on the shoes and it just throws that whole outfit off so it doesn't really match so for that i have to take a point off and just give him a 9 out of 10 on this whole outfit because it is really nice i love the look of the hoodie under the varsity jacket it really makes the outfit pop especially with the pink and then you can see the hoodie says october which makes that pop a little bit more the jeans give it contrast so it makes the outfit pop as well the sneakers just throw it all off so that's why i have to give him a 9 out of 10. So going on to the last outfit, we do have the old Drake. And boy, if you don't get- Okay, so that's clearly a joke. I'm not gonna rate this outfit. 
because obviously that's not how Drake does anymore. That's like the old Drake, like that's a Degrassi Drake or Degrassi Drake, however you pronounce that. Going on to the real last outfit, starting at the sneakers, he is again wearing some Jordan 8s. I'm gonna guess these are another pair of PEs. I think these are OVOs. Going on to the top, he is wearing a white tee. I wouldn't doubt if it's an OVO tee. And then on top again, he is wearing a varsity jacket, except this one is in brown with the leather sleeves. And also it is OVO brand with the Canada flag on the side. You know, he has to rep, you always gotta rep your country. As you guys can see, I rep mine right here, Peru. Going on to the wrist, he is wearing a gold watch. Wouldn't doubt if it's like a Rolex or a Patek Leap or AP. As far as the chain goes, it looks like he's wearing a rope chain. I actually like what he did with this outfit. It really does flow. It's like a Drake style. This is what I imagine when somebody says Drake, like an outfit like this, you know what I'm saying? So for this outfit, since it's very clean, it's very well put together, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. Like he matched the white shirt with the white shoes, the light wash jeans, and then you got a brown top to make it pop. He did really good with this outfit. And that pretty much concludes the whole video. Today's fan of the day does go to AKA Civi. If you wanna be fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and also be one of the first people to comment on my latest video so you do have a chance to be fan of the day for my next video. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Like I said, I like the goal is to reach 30,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is April 22nd. That is my 21st birthday. Like I've been saying, every single video is going to be lit. And I really, really, really want to get to 30,000 subscribers by then. So I hope we can do it. I know you guys can do it. If you guys have any suggestions on who you guys would like me to rate, leave a comment on that down below as well. I will do those for future videos, especially if it gets a lot of requests. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Monday. Make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker signing out.